guys, welcome back to Release the Crafting. Priscilla here with a quick traveler's notebook share for you guys today. Um, going on vacation, so I wanted to film this before I left. Um, this is going to be a gift for a friend who was supposed to go on vacation with us but could not go. So I wanted to make him something so he didn't feel left out. and Just give him a little something so he could uh, have some souvenir from the trip. So um, I made this... Uh, Traveler's Notebook in a steampunk style, calling it the Steampunk Mechanic. And uh, the cover is a piece of sticky back canvas that I colored with um, like distress sprays and inks and oxides. And then I stenciled on and stamped on with some archival ink. And then I used um, some of this really cool paint from Folk Art. It's called Color Shift. So I use that to stencil this like honeycomb pattern on. It's really cool. It's like a black paint with a gold like shimmer to it. So I thought that really came out neat. And um, then I just went like crazy with distress everything and made this look as grungy and as worked over as possible. I used some hickory smoke here and I really like how it gives it that kind of like smoky redundant effect, uh, but I really like how this cover came out, and then I uh, used uh, the same technique I used to make my gilded note cards, I used to um, gild these cogs, and this key cut out, and then I just um, inked up this little clock cut out with some uh, ground espresso distress ink, and this is a Prima embellishment that I added to the cover, and so I thought that was fun. As you guys can see, it's a chunky little traveler's notebook. It got a lot chunkier than I expected it to. So, um, for the inside, I just lined it with some paper and used some of this really cool, like, uh, gold foil washi tape that I have that I thought looked kind of like, um, like electrical tape and stuff, but gold, I guess. And um, I have this really cool paper pack called Tattered Time. I think it's from DCWV. So I used that in here. And I just made some tags and stuff. Added this, like, cool chain with a clock handle on it. And I left a lot of writing space and a lot of spaces for photos. I did some stenciling and some stamping. That flips up. And this is some washi tape I have. And I sprayed here with some Distress Sprays. And it kind of gave the paper like a weird textured effect. What I thought was cool. And I used some stickers from uh, Tim Holtz, the Small Talk, and the Snarky Text I used in here. And then I added these um, cogs and gears to uh, make some tabs. And then I used some Seven Gypsies rub-ons on a lot of the pages. And that's some Tim Holtz washi. This is some washi I got on AliExpress. And this is some coffee, like, stained paper that I ended up, like, I don't know how I did it, but I made it super dark. And I couldn't think of anything I could, uh, fit it into, but then I started putting this stuff together and was like, that's perfect. And you can write on it, um, it's visible with regular black ink, but it also looks really cool if you use, like, uh, gold ink or silver ink on top. And so this is a little corner tuck, and it flips open. Get some stamping there. And some more stampling, stampling. <laughs> Camping. Oh my gosh. Um, made a little tiny pocket. There should be tons of space for him to write. Oh, that was pretty cool. There's lots of like machine parts and uh, bits and pieces that probably mean something to him because he does like all sorts of mechanical type stuff, but they don't mean anything to me, so I don't know what they're called and I'm not going to try. But here's the other side of that little clock hand charm that I attached here. I used some more washi tape and did some spraying on this graph paper. Had some fun playing with my embossing powders, making some tags and adding in some metallic embellishments. And this just turns out. And sorry if I sniffle a lot, you guys are getting over a cold. Tags and some scrap pieces of paper. There's some more rub-ons. A little bag that I embossed. Just added a little journaling card too. 
And there's a little scrap piece of that graph paper. I don't want to get rid of it. And then after this little key paper clip, another journaling card, some more tags. And I had a lot of fun. I got to use a lot of colors in this one. That hickory smoke and I used uh, ground espresso and vintage photo and black soot and walnut stain. So I busted out like all my browns and blacks for this. Another seven gypsies rub on. A little paper clip. A scrap piece of paper to journal on. Another cog tab. Made a little flip up. Well, this paper is really cool. It's got like a sheen to it. I don't know if you guys are picking that up on camera. So it's just a fun like paper pack to work with. And like I said in my last video or video ago, a couple videos ago, I really wanted to make something steampunk anyway, so this did it for me. And then a little corner tuck. One of those fold open tags. Get some more stamping. It's like a radio. Old fashioned radio. It's pretty neat. And I used, um, on some of the pages, I used this watercolor I got from uh, Designs by Rachel Beth on Etsy. Cannot talk right now. Um, and just added in some metallic highlights. And I kind of like did it on some of the edges of some of the pages, but this is where I like painted in um, some little sparkle to make that little wheel. Looks like a wheel. Um, shine. Finish your sentences. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so razzled, but I really wanted to film this, you know, before I handed it over. And then here's my little note for him. And in the back, there's just little tags. And I stamped it with my shop stamp. It's not my official shop stamp, but I love that stamp, so it's in there. Like it's official. It added a little uh, bulb pin with a light bulb charm. And in the back, there's another little flip out. And have a little screw on the back. And that is it. That's the whole little traveler's notebook. So I'm going to wrap this bad boy up and uh, hand it off to his missus so that he can get it when she comes back from the vacation. And um, until then, you guys, have fun. Happy crafting. We'll see you on the next uh, show. Bye.